basically everything. For example, Sayori, what's your favourite food? Um, I have them organised by category. Should I start with snacks? What do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh jeez. Okay, how about your favourite fruit? Ah, that's easy! Cherries! Really? I just thought cherries tasted nasty. What? Cherries are delicious! Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. How does it make you feel? I don't know. Sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See, the reason you had such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like the cherries. It's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on! How is that objective when you just said it was only your opinion? It has to do with the way our brains interpret the words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Like Sayori, let's rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good! So, what if instead of that, I said like, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavour I enjoy. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. Okay, so cherries was kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, I just talked about my feelings, and Sayori didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with one another, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Yuri, you don't need to take notes. I'm not going to quiz you or something. I, I know that. I was just... Um, sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. You can do whatever you'd like, but does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah? I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other people. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help turn your differences into a positive experience, rather than an argument. Right, Siri? Whatever you say, cherry hater. Oh, come on. Siri, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. How about a cherry sundae? You are welcome to dupe me any time, my beloved president. Buying your people's loyalty, how deplorable. Oh, like you would turn down a free sundae, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. And that was... I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Ah, oh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So now that we have the gist of it, how about we try it with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Yuri, do you want to start? Um, well, I'd rather not, no. Ah, how come? Well, because... I don't see how anything productive can come from that. I'm just gonna start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Let's just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to cuddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. Respectable? Yuri's expression changes at that word. As Monica recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like, it's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I just perform more deep and nuanced in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were going to say that manga's for children or something like that. Like, I don't hear enough of that. But there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you imply that manga is immature, then you aren't you implying that someone is immature for being into it? I... Well, maybe it's immature to just people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki? Nobody's immature. I've read Natsuki's mangas and Yuri's fantasy and I love them both in their own own way. Okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. And boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's objective. But, I mean, the thing about... This is ridiculous. Do you see why I don't want to participate in this? 
I knew it was just going to make people upset. I'm not upset! Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. Alright guys, follow the mouse. Oh, see, Yuri's pretty tall. Oh, Natsuki's kind of short there, huh? Hmm, I wonder why she would get the feeling that, like, Yuri's looking down on her. Just saying. That's not true at all. You're making assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in a mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling all of my interests immature. You can't. Please stop. Please? You don't mean the things you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems next time, okay? Ah! Damn! Sheesh! Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Holy crap. I've never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I was just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. Again, you're in the debate club, bro. It's kind of weird how it's turned into this. It's like, the moment she leaves the debate club, she's just sh** at, like, actually organizing proper debates. It was a really stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault, and it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not into manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it, that's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugarcoating things, it's just about recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her. Not just like the way we talk to each other, right? I mean... Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow, I'm just like saying that instinctively. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good the truth finally came out. Because I can just move on now. But it's fine, I promise. Let's just get our minds off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding your superiority complex. Don't be mean. I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want. But don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answer, but I at least know that we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Marcus says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other, the least out of everyone, and this is the reason. As Yuri and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Will the club really have to just come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, the solution doesn't seem to be in sight. And that is part one done. Oh, we got mail. Hold on.